Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com. In this video, we will discuss working with Visual Studio 2022 ARM in Apple M series chip with the help of all new Parallel Desktop 18 and how much performance enhancement has happened in both Parallel Desktop 18 along with the ARM optimized Visual Studio 2022 while working with Apple M series chips. And in this video, we will also discuss how the coherence feature of Parallel Desktop 18 is going to further enhance our workflow while working with Windows 11 application in Mac operating system seamlessly. So let's see how we can able to do that. Well, before we jump into this particular video, if you are interested in installing the Windows 11 in just one single click using Parallel Desktop 18, please go ahead and watch the video which I have already covered in my Exit Automation YouTube channel. And if you are planning to purchase Parallel Desktop 18, like a new subscription, you can click the link in the description below, like an affiliation link, where you can get the discount along with the coupon code if you apply, which is available in the description as well. And you can start using Parallel Desktop 18 within your Mac operating system. Well, as that said, let's jump into using Visual Studio 2022 in Windows 11 ARM operating system in Parallel Desktop 18. I have already installed the Visual Studio 2022 in the operating system which I'm going to be showing to you right now, which is nothing but the Windows 11 operating system. So as you can see, this is one of my Windows 11 operating system instance. So I'm going to start booting it. And let me also make this as full screen. And you can see that my Windows 11 has been booted over here. So at the moment, as you can see, I already have Visual Studio 2022 preview install it in my machine and the way i have installed this visual Studio 2022 is very straightforward just go to the browser over here and then search for visual studio 2022 arm and then you will see that there is a link over here visual studio on arm power devices just go ahead and select it at the moment this is in preview state i mean the arm support is in preview state so you can just go ahead and download the vs 2022 17.3 preview 2 uh, for native ARM based 64 application. So you just go ahead and download that. And once you download it, you can then start installing it within your Windows 11 machine. Uh, so once I have installed it, so Visual Studio 2022 is going to look pretty much exactly like how it's going to look like for you in the x64 architecture that you always use within your PC. So that's it. That's the only thing. And I also have tried out with some of the applications like an web application as well as the spec flow application for testing purpose and it looks quite awesome. So I'll quickly show you how it's going to look like. So this is the Visual Studio 2022 normal boot. So you can see that it's quite faster. And once I create a new project, it's going to be pretty much exactly like a seamless experience. I don't see any glitch between the PC experience versus the VS 2022 ARM in the parallel desktop 18. So I'm going to choose a ASP.NET Core web app this time. I'm going to hit next. And uh, let's say I'm just going to say demo application and I'm going to hit next. And you can see that .NET 6 is already there. .NET 7 preview is also there, but I want to choose .NET 6 for now. And I'm going to remove the configure HTTPS. I'm going to hit create. And the moment I hit this create button, you will see that it is going to do all the scaffolding of creating the projects and stuff. You can see that the loading is not too bad. It's already ready for us to be used. And if I open the pages over here, let's say the index.cs.html, it looks quite pretty much exactly the same. And if I go to the program.cs file, you will see that it's all coming up for us pretty instantly, right? And once I start running the application demo application over here, you will notice that the browser is going to spawn for us something like this. And you can see that the home page is coming up, which is great. And I can just navigate the application. So these experiences are going to be pretty much exactly the same. And you can see that you can use the snapping feature of Windows 11 to work with it. These are quite faster. I mean, you, you are just looking at it right now, right? Like this is quite faster. And if I go to the task manager, for example, over here, and let's say how's the performance it looks like, you can see that the performance is not quite bad. I mean, I have 16 GB of memory in my MacBook Pro and the 6 GB is being shared for this particular operating system, the Windows 11 operating system over here. And the CPU, you can see that it is 3.2 gigahertz, not bad. And it is not using a lot of CPU as well as the memory. And you can see that it's all pretty balanced over here. And you'll also notice that the CPU this time, it shows Apple Silicon, which is great. So even Windows 11 has been refined to show you exactly what CPU it is. It was not the case even before, like it was just showing like an ARM CPU before, but right now it is showing us the Apple Silicon, which is great. 
So yeah, I could use this Visual Studio 2022 without any problem over here. And I also tried running one of the Specflow application, which was not actually working fine before, but nowadays these are all working fine without any problem. Even the plugin of Specflow is working fine in the ARM Visual Studio 2022. So if I select the Specflow project, this is the one which I actually installed from the extension. And then if I create next, hit create, you will notice that it's gonna ask you the framework over here. I'm gonna choose XUnit along with adding the Fluent assertion. And you will notice that it is actually showing us the Specflow experience as well without any problem, which is great. And once I do build solution, you will notice that I don't really feel like I'm actually working in an a virtual machine, basically this panel desktop is a virtual machine, right? And it doesn't look like it. I mean, I could able to just right click, go to the definition, pretty much like how I actually do with my Dell XPS machine. And you'll also notice that if I start typing anything over here, for example, the scenario context dot current dot, you will see that the intelligence is quite faster. It was a bit slower before, like before the ARM Visual Studio 2022, while I was trying to use the actual Visual Studio 2022 within the Windows 11 ARM, the emulation was not that great. But right now, because this is a native ARM, Visual Studio 2022, which is running in Windows 11 ARM, it is quite faster. So I really like that. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go a level further this time, and I'm gonna show you the coherence mode of Panels Desktop. This is amazing as well. So you can see that this icon over here is nothing but the coherence mode. So if I select that, you will notice that it is going to start running the Visual Studio 2022 in my Mac operating system environment over here. So now that we are within my Mac desktop over here, and you can see that I have my Windows 11 and my Visual Studio 2022 and even the console uh, application resources coming over here. And this is the debugger console. See, it's all coming up for us over here. So now let me try to open our recent project over here which is nothing but the demo application which is this one and now if i try running this demo application you will see that the application is going to be launched pretty much like how it actually worked with the windows 11 application you see that even the snapping is actually working fine the windows is been drawn over here on the left hand side which is how it was in the windows 11 while i was actually trying to do the snap right so it is coming up for us over here which is great. And now let's say what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to go to the index.cs. I'm going to say, welcome to Windows 11 ARM with Parallels Desktop 18. Uh, and if I try running the debug application, so basically even though while I run with the coherence mode in the Mac operating system, the keyboard shortcut mapping is all the Windows uh, shortcuts. Basically, if you do just Control S, the, the saving is just gonna work, not the Command S that we used to use in the Mac operating system. See that? Even this is working fine, just which is great. So yeah, this is the coherence mode. And now if I want to access any of the Windows application, I can just select this Windows 11 logo over here. And you can see that the startup menu comes in and then I can open any of the applications over here. Let's say Notepad. So it's gonna come up for us over here. It's a bit laggy. Maybe it's because of my Mac has got less resource compared to the actual resource it should be. If you see the recent versions of the Apple's M2 as well as the Apple M1 Max Pro and Ultra, they are even more powerful and you can keep adding more resources for your virtual machines, which is nothing but the Windows 11 machine. And you will notice that the Windows 11 in parallel desktop is gonna be much, much awesome. So I really like this. Visual Studio 2022 in Windows 11 ARM, it is faster. So yeah, this is the Visual Studio 2022 working experience with the ARM-based operating system. And I could also see that we could create all the type of project templates over here. Let's say if I just go to the new project and you can see that I get the ASP.NET Core, Blazor server, and the Azure functions and console applications, end unit test and Azure applications as well as any one of the application that you can think of, the web applications, you could able to do that much, much easily. And you might notice that I don't really have any Windows based application like WPF based application development over here because I have not really installed those option within my Visual Studio 2022, but you could able to do that in the VS 2022 ARM in Windows 11 ARM as well without any problem. 
And yeah, that's it. This is the experience that I feel like it is quite faster and I don't really see that any difference between them. You can see that the Windows is moving quite fast. And let's say if I just turn off my coherence mode, like view exit coherence, and you can just go ahead over here and you can see that we are now back to our Windows 11 screen itself. It is faster. Yeah, so tell me about your experience of how you like about the VS2022 in your ARM-based operating system and whether can we replace this particular operating system like the Windows 11 ARM operating system along with the ARM-based Visual Studio 2022 in future. It is going to be fabulous, right? Just tell me your experience, how you feel like. And I still think that it is not quite there yet to use the Windows 11 ARM with the ARM-based Visual Studio 2022 yet. But once we progress towards the future, I think soon Apple is going to replace the whole PC ecosystem with the more faster experience of using a Windows machine in Mac operating system and with the power of Paddle desktop. It is going to be quite awesome. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.